An arm underneath the right side of the frame houses most of the action with the device's battery stowed behind the right ear. You'll notice a glass button on the inside of the battery and that's actually not a button at all. It's how you hear with Google Glass. Vibrations, and yes they tickle a bit, send a signal through your skull to your ear with a technology called bone induction. Moving along the frame, we reach the underarm where you'll see a small LED indicator light, circular power button on the inside, and micro USB charging port on the bottom. On the top right of the frame, you'll find a dedicated camera key that you can tap for a picture or hold down for a video. And now we're working towards the meat of the glass, the hinge, and this is an important part. Because the flexible glass frame is designed to fit all head sizes, the display is located at different distances and angles for each person. And this hinge allows you to adjust that distance, ensuring a consistent experience for every user. On the inside of the hinge is an infrared looking rounded black rectangle. This detects whether you're wearing glass, disabling the touchpad when you remove the headset. On the front we've got a 5 megapixel camera with light sensor and the plastic prism that makes the Google Glass display possible. So what do you think? Cool and futuristic or creepy geeky fail? People seem to be split on that a bit. Oh I almost forgot. Uh, on the side is the touchpad. So with your right hand you can swipe and tap to navigate through the Google Glass UI. This area also houses the glass processor and the storage. Here's a look at Google Glass when the display is on and as you can tell, someone that's looking at you can tell if you've got the display active. The end of the display actually acts as a mirror so you can see me waving in there. So if you look at the end, you're going to get a reflection. Kind of neat actually. If you take a look at the angled interior of the glass display, you can get an idea of how it works. The hinge horizontally projects an image, it bounces and reflects the light and then like magic, you see a display floating in the sky. TLDR, science. That's a quick look at the Google Glass hardware for a more detailed analysis.